the UAB Blazers. 11 and 3 last year, 7 and 1 in the conference. They return three offensive starters and five defensive starters, which the numbers don't sound great, right? It's tough. Tough to do. Bill Clark, 25 and 14 in three years here, should have a P5 job by now. Um, and I don't know if he's turned them down or if he just hadn't, you know, gotten called up for them or whatever. 2018 was a really deep, mature team. They had some JUCOs. The rules were a little bit different. Uh, there's a ton of upperclassmen on this roster. There's some experience. Uh, lost most of the talent from a, a already subpar offense. Um, the rules were changed because, I mean, this is just the third season. That they had a team. That they've even had a team. You talk about trying to replace all those guys. Yeah. Three years ago, they had to replace a team. Yeah, it's a, where most people get like 25 scholarships per recruiting cycle. That's right. I mean, they got a bunch more. They well, were able well, to bring it was, in. It was the yeah. first it, literally starting a team from scratch. Yes, and there were a bunch of JUCO guys, and there were a bunch of and, – and look, that's going to way because they were mature and deep, and they had talent. And they've still got some of that. They still got a lot of that. But it is tough to replace this many starters. Um, look, at the defense finished number nine in total defense last year, number seven in scoring D. The schemes, obviously, are solid. Uh, I mean, watch defensive end Garrett Marino this year because you're going to love this kid. Uh, the schedule is manageable, even with the trips to Western Kentucky, Southern Miss, and North Texas. Uh, I like Bill Clark. I think he is... I think he's probably the best coach in this conference. Maybe not probably. How about this? He is the best coach in this conference. And this team may not be as good as last year's team, but the schedule sets up so well. I think they go 10-2 and two this year. I think they're 7-1 and one in, the, uh, in the conference. Same thing. Got 10-2. and Got 7-1. I got them winning the division. Got them winning the conference. I, I don't like Bill Clark. I love. I love <laughs> Bill Clark. I really, really do. And I'm not trying to have UAB lose their coach, but I want Bill Clark at a big school. I want to see him on national yeah. TV games. I want him to get credit that he doesn't get. Yeah. That's all I want. Because half of the country, 80% of people who follow college football really close, don't know who this man is. Yeah. And, and they I, should. I think that's a shame. I think he's absolutely a sensational coach. I do agree with and that. And I don't I don't know if he's turning job. I wish I had the information on who's actually interviewed him and is he telling them no or or are they just not offering him? Because I'm gonna tell you, and those athletic directors, if it, they chose to not offer him, the day and time is going to come where he takes over a program. And they're gonna see how good he is at yeah. a big boy school. And then they're going to look at the people. The fan base is going to look at the athletic directors that interviewed him and say, "You and, had an opportunity and passed on him." Yep. That's that. If I was an AD and I passed on him, I wouldn't tell nobody either, because I think this guy's special. I really what he did, starting this thing literally from the ashes and doing what they've just gotten better every year, over and over and over again. I well, don't and no, see he doesn't. He away. doesn't fit what a lot of people are looking for now, which they Offense. want the young, they all want offensive, the young guy. offensive guy. Bill Clark is a, an older defensive guy. And it doesn't help and, that every old uh, defensive guy that's been a great defensive guy that's gotten a job in the last like five years has flamed out in three or four. Well, okay. Okay, a lot of it has to do with where they get hired, right? I mean, it's uh, location matters in this thing. Maybe you're probably right. But I think if he got a big boy I think, job, I think and if he Bill just Clark, hired one of these young stud offensive geniuses, I I I think man, that's just a combination that yeah. I would take. Bill Clark understands it, but like if if Bill Clark goes to UTEP, no, no, you know, and I don't think he would have. Obviously, he came from Jacksonville State. Yeah, but like, I mean, you go to UTEP, it's probably not gonna happen, right? It's it is what no, it is. No, he's not so, winning the conference. So location, but I'll tell you this: he's doing a hell of a lot better than what UTEP's doing. Maybe. I mean, he's doubling that schedule, that record. I don't know, man. It, 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 that's tough. That's tough to do down there. I don't know. I think he's a really good coach. No, I, I agree with you. I think he is. I, I mean, think, I, I, think I, think he he's, I think he's elite level coaching. I really do. might be over exaggerated. I mean, you know, I, it's just how I feel. I know. And you are passionate about this man. I really and am. I, I can and understand. I, and it. I'm really bothered that nobody's given him a job. It just it really bothers me well, because I mean, I've look, seen some terrible coaches get jobs. It, this guy goes ten and two this year. I, I guarantee you, people will be calling. 